Hundreds from the Bemidji area gathered at the Paul and Babe statues over the weekend for the second annual Walk for Recovery presented by the Bemidji Recovery Alliance. Our reporter Matthew Freeman was at the event to see what the walk was all about. The Bemidji Recovery Alliance has been focused on helping those impacted by any form of addiction get well and stay well through coaching and support. One way the group does this is by holding a walk for recovery for those facing or know someone facing addiction. So really we're here to uh, enjoy a lot of resources, have a really good walk, uh, closing ceremony and celebrate those who are uh, in recovery from substance use disorders uh, and in remembrance of those that we've lost. The event was inspired by the Northwest Indian Community Development Center's recovery walk from last year, but this year saw a lot more community members wanting to participate. This year we really want to do something to get the folks together, get the community together, get a lot of resources out, um, but also get our bodies moving and shaken as we celebrate recovery. Something that we as the BRA are really focused on is reducing stigma and just really getting out there that there are folks in recovery, we're here, we're loud, we're proud, and we want to celebrate the accomplishments that we have celebrated. So to have people here today, it really means a lot. It means a lot for the Recovery Alliance as we get uh, moving and we recruit members and have more people join. Uh, it really means a lot to have Bemidji supporting us. Earlier this month, Bemidji Mayor George Prince gave a proclamation declaring the month of September as Recovery Month something he hopes to continue. There are so many stories of people who overcome recovery or battle recovery for themselves or family or friends and it's definitely something really important in our community and I think it was great we were able to do a proclamation for the month and I hope we keep doing it year after year. Before the walk started, participants were asked to take ribbons along with them, each having a different meaning. Purple is the color of overdose awareness, addiction recovery month, and so purple is for everyone who attends. If you identify as a person in recovery, and recovery does not have a specific definition to us. If you are in recovery, uh, we want you to grab a green ribbon in addition to that purple ribbon, uh, and then that white ribbon is for those who we've lost uh, to addiction, uh, lost to overdose or anything related to uh, substance use disorder. Every participant of the walk took at least one of the ribbons with them, but some took all three which Isabella Schaefer says they should all be proud of. That's amazing, and so for people to be able to come out uh, to a community event and identify out loud and out proud that not only do they support addiction recovery, but they themselves are out uh, about being in recovery, uh, suffering from addiction, having a substance use disorder. And so the more people that we have that really can show that I'm wearing green and I'm proud, I'm wearing purple that I'm proud, but also remembering those that we've lost to substance use disorder. So having people who are willing to wear all three, it means a lot. Reporting in Bemidji, I'm Matthew Freeman. Lakeland News. National Recovery Month originally started in 1989 and has been observed every September since then. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.